change the technique that that elbow is here now all of a sudden i'm in a position where i have this control right and i want to give me that control okay we'll take this control now we'll take that control now we'll take put a guy out because i'm flashing and i cut under here now all of a sudden i've done an exact similar movement from this idea of a wrestling position here, now all of a sudden I have fingers. I can lock. I do it. Locking is not banging on the floor, it's off the floor, right? So when I come to active toes, position one, my knee is going to slightly come in towards my left knee as I cut out. Now on position two, my left knee comes up the inside aspect of my right ankle as I bring my weapon above my head. I am under my weapon. Now my foot comes out, it's not really stopping as much as it's just sliding out to kind of counter that balance point. There, boom. Now I'm coming around, I'm gonna do my chewity, bang, All right? And as I do that, I pop up, okay? So we would be here, cut, and now let's try this. Boom. But now I'm going to bring my feet together. One, slide the right foot back. Two, re-sheath. Bend slightly. If you go all the way down head. So I'm going to step offline as I block the weapon. That sword hits, guys. It's sliding this way towards my left. So I'm going to bring my left foot back as I cast and cut. Single hand. Notice my position. My son's feet. Now from here, the guy that's in front of me starts to attack. I just simply rotate. Cut. Draw my C, my sheet, right up. 